Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all having a great week so far. As you can tell, I've ditched my boom truck again for the week. We're helping out the supervisor at the office, playing some jobs. Today, it's an interesting job, something that I promised you all in a past video that I would show eventually, and that's how we set an anchor near gas lines, water lines, stuff like that, using a hydrovac. Hydrovac being high pressurized water and a huge vacuum to suck a hole out of the ground. So we're gonna be installing a couple poles and a cross plate anchor using the hydrovac. So the purpose of the job today, we see that pole off the distance with the gang switch on it. It's seen better days. So we're gonna be replacing that as well as a pole across the street, which we can't quite see right now. There's my buddy just showing up now. We're gonna use him to uh, help us out by removing some of the telephone cables as we set the pole in. Traffic control is heading out in the street right now. We're gonna do a lane reduced setup and then we're gonna have the hydrovac roll in and, and start getting to work. So we can see here, we, we did receive all of our locates. The paint's pretty faded in the grass there now. And right here, we have our stakes as to where the new pole and the anchor is gonna go. Another hazard that we've identified, the top of the pole is starting to split. We're gonna be replacing this pole as well. So we're gonna have my partner go up in the air and put a split bolt in that pole, hold things together a little tighter, just in case something lets go while the ground's getting shaken around here. The other day we were hydrovacking and there was like an eight by eight chunk of wood like three or four feet in the ground pretty pretty wild we ended up having to use the extension saw reaching it down the hole to remove that chunk of wood before we were able to set the pole so you never you never know what you're going to come across back 50 years ago there wasn't a whole lot of standards as far as burying stuff a lot of times when they had a hole they threw all the junk at the job site in the hole and just backfilled it So the high pressure water, it cuts through the soil easily. And this extremely powerful vacuum, which is really loud, as you can hear. The good thing is the high pressure is strong enough to cut through the soil. However, it won't cut through the cable. The jet on the water is set in such a way that the water's fanned out, so there's not a whole lot of direct pressure. It's not a narrow stream of, of water that can puncture into a cable. So they kind of fan the cable around the ground as they're working and suck it out. If we come across a, a gas line or something and expose that, then we'll have to slightly adjust the location of the pole or the anchor. So we just got a slight change of plans here, guys. I'm just dipping into the truck so you can hear me. I'm really nervous about hydrovac inside that pole. As you can see, the pole is, is leaning this way a little bit. There's quite a bit of tension on those overhead guys. We're gonna be sucking a hole out six feet deep right beside that pole. While the ground is intact on the side of the pole that the majority of the weight is pulling towards, we're gonna have the butt of that pole almost exposed. Not really, because I'm gonna leave a foot or two of, of earth, but once you go six feet down, if that earth collapses and that pole settles and kicks at all, we're gonna lose that line over overhead, over top of traffic. So I put in a call to a contractor that's got uh, a boom truck in the area, a corner mount digger truck that's rated for holding poles. We're gonna get him on site right away and we're gonna hook right onto that pole and hold it while they excavate the second hole. That way it makes things much, much safer for the extra bit of money it's gonna to cost to get that crew here to do that. It's it's not worth the risk not holding it and then having an incident. So that, that's something you do with any job. You come up with a plan, you start going, 
throughout the job, if you see anything that's of a concern, you were to stop working, you identify the hazard and then you control it. So we've identified a hazard. They're still working on the first hole for the anchor anyways. By the time he gets here, if, if he's not here before they're done that first hole, then they'll stand down until he gets here. We'll hook onto that pole and we'll control that hazard.